Hello my children and welcome back to the Ginger Fisherman. Now today on the channel we're out doing a bit of jigging. And I don't mean jigging as in jiggy jiggy. I don't mean jigging as in small soft plastic baits. I mean dead baits. You'll be able to tell from the title already and the thumbnail. But yes, I'm using a jig head pushed inside a small dead bait fish. For instance, roach or little rud. So, I'm splitting the session into two halves. I've already been out this morning, so I know how I went on this morning, and it did go very well. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. My main target is big perch, but I'm happy to catch whatever comes. So, maybe pike, maybe chub, whatever decide to take a little bait fish. So, the benefits to this over jigging with a conventional uh, soft plastic is the fact that it does have that scent factor and it is a real fish it's a real fish it's just dead so you can actually leave these static on the bottom and the perch will quite happily come over and pick it up as happy as Larry so our further ado we'll crack on with the video like I say we'll start on with this morning this afternoon I've decided to come out I've fashioned the waders so I can get out to a few more of the tricky swims um, fingers crossed I'll be able to get some fish that way so Without further ado, let's crack on with the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. And if you don't, then don't forget to do it at the end of this video. I'll see you all in the a few chub. Even though my target's big perch, if a chub decides to take a dead bait, I ain't come get me. Ducks will come straight over me, think I'm gonna feed him. Yes, I'm wearing trackies. I never wear trackies. I'm supposed to be wearing waders today. So these are gonna be underneath to keep me nice and warm. Hey -ho. Not exactly the most subtle presentation, but it's a dead bait, so it should be good enough to tempt something. Definitely see a chub down there. Scared him. Didn't surprise me. The chub would be a bit funny when it's a bit colder. I came to this one expecting to be cast into opposite bank, but I've just seen a perch right down at my feet. A bit of slack water. It is not interested. Oh, there's a big one now. The big one's interested. Stuck on a snag. Oh, yes, it's coming to the look. Got it. Yep, yep. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm caught on a bramble. It's a nice page. Yarn on this net to land it. Yes, first fish on the bait, and it's about two pounds. Awesome. This was an interesting one. I'll get him on up. Where did you get there? Nice look to the top of the lip. There we go. Now, this was a lovely bonus fish. I'd spotted one in the edge about a pound, somewhere around that, and uh, I dropped the dead bait down to its nose and was jiggling it nicely. It turned away, and this one came in from behind it, and uh, after staring at it for a few seconds, took it, and there we go. Really, really cold fish. Awesome catch. We'll get him back, see if we can find any more. We've got the next one, exactly the same as I did the last. 
through the mouth and out the side of the fish oh. see if I can get another one, I've kept it in the net I'm going to go for a long cast this time out to the far bank where there's a bit of a slack water Jiggly bob in it. Oh, it looked like a perch took it. Oh no! It was a big one chasing it. Solid two pound fish as well. Damn it, I pulled it right out of the way. I thought it had taken it. I was about to set the hook. I think I straight to him. I'm barely going to move the bait, I think, this time. get into position. Bait is perfect, come on. Come on. Yep, got it. Got it, we got it. Oh, it's another nice patch. Another really nice fish. Oh, and he just gave me my bait back. Two two pound perch in the net. On dead baits. Not live baits, not laws. Dead baits. All the hook's gone through the side of its mouth and into the net. So there we go. Flat the net. Two awesome fish on the dead baits. Well, one's not one of play ball, is he? Awesome fish, both probably getting on for two pound, around that two pound mark, maybe just under, like 114, 113. Both really nice fish though. Clean, healthy, let's get them back. First swim since so I've come back out with waders. Not one that I'm ever really that confident in catching a fish in, but the water's up a little bit, so I'm hoping it might push some fish down into this bit of a slack water in the edge. See, I'm not too confident here though. It's not normally a spot where I find that many fish, but like I say, water's up a little bit. Probably up by about half a foot, but. Uh, Pike. Definitely seen a lot of jack pike chasing it. There we go. Little jack's taking it. You ready? Oh no! You took me bait. It's a tiny pike. Talking like probably barely a pound. Little micro pike. A bit of a breeze today, especially this afternoon. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Let it eat it for a minute. I say a minute, I don't mean literally a minute, I mean like 10 seconds. Has he got it? Yeah, he's got it. There we go. We got it. We got it. 
<laughs> Lovely little jack bike. Uh, I'm not going to bother using the net on him. Nice little bike. Nice up look. Right, his bottom went. Oh, popped straight out. He's been had by a probably a bigger pike actually. Bit of a mark on his back. Wonderful little pike. You know what? He's full of energy. Let's get him. Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> I think this one's coming out to come and see me. That young one thinks I've got it somewhere, but I have not. There might be a pike under this near side bank. Oh, it's a pike. <laughs> it's so small, I thought I'd look some weed. Guy, I'll tell you what, he didn't hammer it, he just kind of just gently picked it up. About the same size as the other one. That's, oh, I can only just lift him, so I'll give him a second to calm down. I'm not going to set the net up. Ready, steady. There we are. Only just looked lucky. He very, very gently picked up that bait. I was just dragging it through the weed and uh, little Ricky here got it. Nasty little guy that look at them teeth. In fact, I'm going to get a picture of those teeth for my Instagram. If you want to go and follow me on Instagram, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Let's get a picture of him. We do like them little guys. Right. Bank's a bit treacherous, so I'm going to drop him down just from here. It's not too far, watch. There we go. He's perfectly fine. I don't want to dislike because I dropped a pike a foot into the water. Especially when I've seen them jump about four foot in the water. Four foot out of the water with them. Right, see if we can get anything else. Nice little fish from here. I'm not fishing any more here because the swans are just right in front of me and I don't want to hook up. Pike sat in that drain. I was about to cast it, I wanted to show it on video. Catching it and it's just swam off. Got it. It made for a sick thumbnail getting a pike out of a little drain, wasn't it? But never mind. Oh, he's got it. I've still caught it though. There we go. God, he's my day for a little jack pike today, isn't it? It was basically sat where this little drain is here. Look at little fish. God, he is mental. They're not all little jack pike, aren't they? Awesome fish, though. It's like this afternoon the little pike have just switched on. It's all exactly the same size, or thereabouts. I've got my five pound wire trace on, just barely up to him. Look. Ooh, might have to get pliers on that. It's a bit tricky. There we go. Oh, and he clamped down on it. Oh, you little bugger. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful fish. Love little bike. Oh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I have enjoyed filming this. Sessions like this I really enjoyed. Just getting out, doing something that I used to do when I first started really out fishing for pike and perch. Just jigging around dead baits, really small dead baits. I always used to do it with sprats and, and catching pretty much whatever predatory fish decide they want to eat that day. So I've had pike today and I've had some really nice fab perch. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the new year. There's going to be so much more content coming up and I'm deciding it's going to be the year to do lots more underwater stuff. So we're filming feeders and things working underwater, the way perch react to them, different pike rigs, pike baits with extra added sense added in and stuff. It's just bait on its own side by side. I'm going to have a few tests in mind for the new year. 
So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Whoa.